So, uh, the ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization, has released its notification. Both the uh, expected tha ye notification uh, for the vacancies of ISRO uh, SC, that means Scientist Grade C. Ke liye this vacancies have been released. So, the notification have been released. I will talk about what are the basic things in this notification, how many vacancies, how to apply, last date of the application and what is the eligibility, right? So, the Indian Space Research Organization, a very esteemed organization, central uh, organization has released its notification. So, let us see things quickly. So, if we talk about, see, they have released the uh, notification for electronics, mechanical engineers as well as the computer science engineers. I will take for example, if we see the mechanical engineering notification, so scientist grade C vacancies are there, 163 vacancies are there, there are 163 vacancies and what is the eligibility? See here, eligibility kya hai? You have to have 65 percent. 65% marks hone chahiye if it is in percentage in your degree or if your college calculates it in the form of CGPA. Agar aapka college isko CGPA ki form mein calculate karta hai, to it should be 6.84 out of 10. So, this is the criteria. Now, if we see uh, <clears throat> the age limit, so age limit is uh, 28 years. So, what is the age limit? It is 28 years. Age limit 28 years hai. But when you should be 28? That means, if your birthday, if your 28th birthday is uh, after, I mean, uh, the 14th of June, that means the, this 14-06-2023. So, if your birthday is <coughs> after uh, 28th June, then you are eligible for applying this. Fine. That means the 20 year is the age limit as on this, as on this. So, uh, <clears throat> even if it is on this date, you will be able to apply, but not uh, before this, you are turning into 28. So, then there are some uh, relaxations as per the government orders with respect to the uh, ex-servicemen, the person with benchmark disabilities, etc. Right? So, this is the age criteria. Then, if we talk about the <coughs> uh, how to fill the form. So, you have to fill this form online. Aapko ye form online bharna hai. Aur 250 rupees is the application fees. Application fees 250 rupees hai. And uh, those candidates desirous to apply so, if the candidates want to apply for multiple posts, they will have to separately fill the form and they will have to uh, pay 250 rupees separately. So, if we see the notification here, <coughs> if we see the notification, so there are uh, 163 total number of seats for the candidates and uh, this is a huge uh, opportunity. So, but uh, the 250 rupees is also relaxed for the women candidates. I'll show you that if we have the uh, this 250 rupees, it will not be applicable to the candidates uh, here. All women, all women, scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, ex-servicemen, and persons with benchmark disabilities are exempted from the payment of application fee. That means you don't have to pay any application fee here, right? Now, uh, <clears throat> the uh, you can also check, candidates can check payment status after 24 hours of their successful payment. So, once you make the payment after 24 hours, you can check the uh, payment details and uh, you should also know that in case of a pending transaction or a transaction or a transaction, failure candidate are advised to contact their banks. So, this is basically at the end of the bank which you will have to see. So, 250 rupees is the fees for the application. Then what you have to have when you are filling the form. So, while filling the form not much is required. What is required is uh, <coughs> the no documents except photo and signature. Except photo and signature in JPG format are required when you are
filling the form right and uh, the documents in original will be produced aapko original documents dene honge when you are called for the interview interview ke time pe you will have to produce all the required documents so uh, people <coughs> however however candidates should be ready candidates should be ready to submit submit original documents in support of qualification age category noc from employer etc that means if you are already working somewhere you will have to produce the noc when you appear for the interview fine <clears throat> then uh, further if we see further selection process kya hai and what are the centers so when you will fill the form jab aap form ko fill karoge to uh, you will be given a choice of the centers so what are the centers where the written test will be conducted so it is ahmedabad bengaluru major cities are there bhopal chennai guwahati hyderabad kolkata lucknow mumbai new delhi and tiruvananthapuram so uh, see they can also cancel some of the centers but these are the general centers which will be available to you when you are giving the written exams and uh, <clears throat> if we see what is the uh, selection process so you see uh, single objective type paper so there will be single objective type paper consisting of two parts प्रीवियस ईयर के जो इसरो के क्वेश्चन है ना क्वेश्चन पेपर आर अवेलेबल इन दी मार्केट एंड यू कैन सी दी क्वेश्चन दे आस आर वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड दे आर नॉट ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग ई एस सी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो हेल्प इन दी इसरो क्वेश्चन सो पार्ट ए एंड पार्ट बी देर विल बी टू पार्ट दो पार्ट होंगे पार्ट ए इज प्योरली टेक्निकल सो दी ड्यूरेशन विल बी वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स की ड्यूरेशन होगी पी डब्ल्यू बी एच कैंडिडेट्स के लिए जो भी टाइम uh, होता है दैट विल बी गिवेन एक्स्ट्रा फॉर देम सो देर विल बी टू पार्ट वन ट्वेंटी मिनट दैट इज टू आवर्स विल बी दी टाइम ऑफ द पेपर एंड पार्ट ए विल बी एरिया डिसिप्लिन स्पेसिफिक पार्ट दैट मीन्स इफ यू आर अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर सो सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फॉर पार्ट ए विल बी एरिया डिसिप्लिन स्पेसिफिक पार्ट राइट so consist of 80 multiple choice questions so there will be uh, 80 multiple choice questions 80 multiple choice questions of one mark each that is uh, there will also be negative marking of minus 1 by 3 now 75% questions will be based in the core specialization that is out of the 80 questions out of the 80 questions 75% will be pure mechanical part uh, 25% of the questions will cover the allied area topics that means they can ask some general engineering things in this they can ask uh, something about extra about the automobiles etc so that can be but it will be related to the mechanical engineering only but it will be slightly extra parts as we study in the mechanical engineering they can uh, ask so <clears throat> then we have part b so the total 120 minutes will be for part a 80 questions are there then we have part b so part b you will have 15 multiple choice questions totaling to 20 marks there will not be any negative marking in part b so you have to attempt i mean it is better to attempt all the questions in part b uh, questions will be based on numerical reasoning logical reasoning and diagrammatic reasoning abstract reasoning and deductive reasoning so we have two parts a and b and the total question is 80 plus 15 that is 95 total questions and this is how they will be uh, arranged and you cannot uh, only focus on part a aisa nahi hoga ki aap sirf part a pe focus karo part b chhod do because if you see the uh, qualification so what will be the qualification when they will call for the interview they will call in the ratio of 1 is to 5 that is what they have written here so uh, for vacancies distinct additional candidates will be shortlisted in the ratio of 1 is to 5 maximum fine so 1 is to 5 is the maximum that means if there are one vacancy they'll call five candidates now the point i was talking about jo point ki main baat kar raha tha ki agar aap part a aur part b ki baat dekho to for unreserved candidate yani jinki koi special category nahi hai for unreserved candidates if we see 50% each in part a and b you should score that means part a may be you should score more than 50% part b may be you should score more than 50% fine and uh, in the interview in the interview 
the minimum marks should be above 50. Aisa nahi ho sakta ki you have scored a lot of marks in the written and in the interview. You have scored very less and you will be selected finally on the basis of the aggregate marks. No. The separately you have to cross 50-50% criteria for part A and part B. Interview you have to cross 50% and the total aggregate, the total sum total hota hai, out of the total marks, part A, part B, interview mila ke, that should be more than 60%. 60% ko cross karna chahi, that is the criteria for the final selection, right? So that means all the parts, part A, part B of the written as well as the interview, you should perform above a certain average that is more than 50%, fine. And this will, for reserved candidates, this will reduce to 40%, 40% here, 40% here, and aggregate should be more than 50%, fine. Now, <coughs> uh, for generation of the final panel, if, uh, when the final uh, marks will be uh, calculated for the final selection, so there will be 50% weightage will be given to written test marks and 50% weightage to interview marks. So, written ka bhi weightage hai, interview ka bhi weightage hai, 50% of the weightage will be written marks, 50% weightage will be for the interview marks, fine. Now, if we talk about the salary, so you don't have to worry about the salary, it is the basic pay is 57, uh, 56,100 and TADA will be there extra, so uh, you will get a decent amount per month, that is not to be worried. So, you should be, I mean, uh, you should be uh, ready to work anywhere of the ISRO centers, whatever they, uh, wherever they call you. And apart from this, if you see <coughs> that uh, when you go for the uh, interview, you will have to produce the whatever the original documents are there. So, this is a good opportunity, a lot number of seats are there. I have discussed 163 for mechanical, there are good number of seats for electronics as well as the computer science candidates also. ISRO is much sought after organization for the engineers, very, very reputed organization. So, all the best, prepare well for your uh, ISRO exam and uh, the last date and the entire procedure, how you have to apply, I have already discussed. Thank you. For more such informative content, subscribe to the Made Easy YouTube channel and press the bell icon to make sure that you never miss an important update.